Well, hi there! This is DBT, and alright, it's time to start playing some QCD Quake Champions Doom Edition. That's right, I'm coming back to this. Because you know that I'm in, I've been trying to get back into my first person shooty shooties. And well, I already started playing some Doom Eternal, and don't worry, I'm gonna be playing it very, very often. I plan to finish the entire thing. I also want to simultaneously be playing something else. And in this case, I went for QCD because, oh boy, this thing has kept on going even though I haven't worked on it for a very long time. In fact, it has been Genia who has been working on this thing for all of this time, updating the mod, updating the engine, because remember that this uses a custom engine called Q-Sandronome that adds Quake movements, which is mostly focused for multiplayer, but no worries, it can still be played in single player, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, you can see on the title that I'm going to be playing Chorus Speedy stuff. I gotta replace that last word because it's too early in the video to start cursing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be playing this map set, and I'll explain why in a second, but first, look at this fancy menu, man, I'm telling you, this doesn't even look like Doom or Xandrum any anymore, in, at least on, you know, in the face of it, but anyway, uh, let's go for a new game, and one of the new champions, or rather, the, the new champion that was added was Orb. Now, I would love to show you this, but I think that's gonna have to wait for a multiplayer session or something. Uh, for now, I wanna play with my beloved Postal Dude, because, yes, absolutely. And now the difficulties has, have been streamlined. There used to be like 10 difficulties. Now it's just a straight up easy, normal, hard, or deathbound, the hardest one. So I'm just gonna go in hard because I don't think I'm, I don't think I was ever a, a fit to play in deathbound. That is only really for the masochist. So no thank you. You know, people like Averna is saying, hey Averna, shout out dude, how you, how you doing? <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm gonna, ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up. So yeah, I'm just gonna be playing in this map set with the mid midi music and um, without any custom monster sets, I'm just gonna be playing with the default ones because reason. No, I don't know, I, I just think it's good to... Because I know how those these monster sets work, I know what to expect. So that actually ties to the idea as to why I am playing this map set right now. Chorus is speedy stuff. And you might be thinking, like, DBT, I've seen you play this before. Uh, why are you playing it again? Well, it has to do with this being kind of like my comfort food, but on a map. It's my comfort map. Um, it's a map set with short levels, a bunch of monsters, a bunch of... Ooh, hello. Uh, reduced pellet spread. Okay, so it's more of a snipey gun. Cool. Um, it's, it's a map set that I know. It's a map set that I can go on relatively fast, so it's not too big of a problem. Um, yeah, and I get to have some fun rather simple dumb fun if you will because sure i could go into playing a map set that i don't know and all of that but it would take probably like 75 videos for me to finish it if if things go right over here i should be able to do it much faster because hey my point over here is not to 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 be the oh i'm gonna i'm gonna be looking at fancy map sets or anything but by the way that's not a dick to this map set i love this map set. but what i'm saying is uh, big complex map sets or anything i think chorus himself would admit that this is made to be really quick maps given that it's called the speedy shit there we go i think we've 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 spent enough time in the video without cursing so now we can proceed yeah youtube gets angry if you start cursing too early in a video so yeah you gotta be careful um by the way there were updates to the guns this is actually another feature that you were not or was not i don't believe it still is not in regular um gc doom or xandernum you see how my weapon moves as i you know i'm looking around that's kind of cool um, and that actually, Franco redid the sprites or complemented the sprites so that they wouldn't show the cutoff as you're aiming up or down. Sorry if this is getting you dizzy. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's really cool. They updated the sprites, the animation, for example, for when you pull the gauntlet. Look at that. Oh, that wasn't there before. Now it is. It looks fantastic. I'm over here. Get rid of these dudes real quick. And I know that these enemies are kind of difficult to see. That's just kind of how it is, unfortunately, because of the color scheme of the monster set and of the levels. So, yes. But don't worry. Uh, the monsters are going to be switching between... What are the default themes? It's going to be Quake 1, Quake 2, Quake 4, regular Doom monster, and Doom um, D4T monster. I think those are the options. Um, but, yes. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to play with a map set that I'm very, very, very familiar with because that, that, that makes the process faster and enjoyable because I don't have to be, like... Spending 15 minutes in one map being like, oh, where where is the secret that I'm missing? Because remember that this mod has completionist rewards, meaning if you kill all the monsters, if you find all of the secrets, then you're going to get a reward for doing so. 
Um, wait. Oh, yeah. Wasn't there supposed to be a Kaito Demon replacement? There is. Um, so, yeah, this is a map set where I know most of the secrets, so I should be able to get my rewards relatively easy. And a bunch of maps don't even have secrets. We're just about killing the monsters quickly, and you should be done, which is always a fun little thing. Right there. Fantastic. We got a chest, and let's open it. Delayed infinite ammo. Oh, that's going to be fantastic in the second map. I'm definitely going to use that. All right, let me let me save with Chorus, Speedy, Stuff. There we go. Fantastic spelling. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, that, the exit is over here. So, yeah, that was the first loot box that I got from killing all the monsters and from finding all of the secrets. So, that's kind of cool. And, yes, there's loot boxes in this game. You acquire them when you complete those objectives and you get random rewards over there. Um, depending on the type of loot box. Okay, we got quite two monsters now, but I have unlimited ammunition, so this is fantastic to deal with. Yeah, this is starting scene. I mean, you're not supposed to stay right here in the open, because those that I'm shooting at right now are my cubes replacement. So, yeah, you're not really supposed to stay right here shooting at them. You're supposed to go through the level and whatnot. You know what? Have some power. Um, oh, that sounds so bad now that I think about it. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. If you don't, then bless your sweet, innocent heart. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, now that I had the unlimited ammo, well, it's fantastic. Because then I get to shoot them all day long. And that's what Oh, uh, yeah. But so the, the, the loot boxes, you know, there's what? Relic berries, which are supposedly the rarest. That explain why it's supposedly. Uh, the rarest. And they have permanent rewards. You have the chest. The one that I got on the previous one. That are temporary... Um, the rewards and then you have the regular backpacks supposedly the most common ones that are supposed to give you crappy rewards now i say supposedly a lot of this because there used to be a, a time when indeed the backpacks were the most common but then i realized that it was just such a such a horrendous terrible reward for you having finding all of the secrets and getting a a, a, a bullshit reward it was just terrible so we changed the probabilities and now it's so much more often that you're gonna get either a chest or a, or a relic query, meaning the better rewards. It's very rare that you're gonna get the, the ugly bad rewards. Totally on purpose. Because yeah, imagine, I mean in these small maps it doesn't really matter, right? Because oh, it's, a, it's a quick map and whatnot, but imagine that you just did a map that took you 25 minutes to finish and you spent... 10 of them searching for the secrets and all of that. Also, that at the end of the day, you get a, 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 a backpack that is going to refill 10% of your ammo or something. I don't even remember what the rewards of the backpacks are, but they're bad. They were always meant to be bad. All right. Um, by the way, this took forever to kill because that is a replacement to a an arch file. So, yes. All right. So, I got... What did I get? Did I get a key? Oh, yeah. Of course, I got the... I, I was looking for the keys in the wrong place. Maybe related to me playing a different mod that it's in development. Oh, come on! It fell down! Oh, come on, cowhead! What's wrong with you? Oh, oh come on. Fine, fine. All right. Note to self. Deal with the... When was the last time I said this? Okay, this is fine, right? I haven't gotten the key yet. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I didn't save after killing... Oh, my God, really? No, wait a second. Did I... That was really seriously the last time that I saved? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. All right, you know what? I'm just going to let my cow head um, come back. And I'll just use it on the replacement to the, to the Archvile. So, yeah, in general, obviously, Archvile are supposed to be the some amongst the most dangerous enemies in regular Doom. Um, well, Doom 2, I suppose. Because they can resurrect enemies. Well, I wasn't going to make attack commander resurrect enemies. But what I could do... Let's just make it really, really strong and whatnot. Is that a tank commander? Did I seriously just recolor the sprite? Did I just desaturate and call it a, a tank commander? I swear I remember having ripped sprites for that thing properly. Ah, who knows? Maybe it was during the time when I was trying to save space on the mod because I was trying to cut the, the, the fat off the file size. Maybe that's what it is. All right, saved after that. Fantastic. Now let me get my thing. Deal with these dudes. Then deal with this other dude. Man, I wonder if I really got rid of the Ten Commander sprites. Now I am completely... I'm telling you, it's been so long since I've done anything, even played any of this, that all of this is almost 
Well, not a straight up feeling like it's something new, but definitely feels a little bit alien-ish. Like, oh, what is this? Ooh, I need to learn. It's fine. All right. And by the way, if you notice, uh, if you really don't know anything about Qzenum, yeah, you can tell that the movement is different because look at how quickly I can just ADAD -AD spam. That is that is the intended. So technically, not technically, you can just straight up do circles, um, circle jumping and straight jumping and all of that. If you know what I'm talking about, then good, you're a connoisseur. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you should educate yourself. Now, I just uh, movement techniques for from Quake, technically from Quake 3. That's when they, they started, but obviously they were ported also in, into Quake Champions. Which, I don't know if you can tell, but it seems that this mod is loosely based on Quake Champions. Just saying. Uh, okay, then... I think I pressed this and some dudes just over there. Yes. Uh, and there's a couple arachnids. Yeah, so the Cowhead being the ultimate... Oh, Jesus. Being an ultimate ability for this champion. Um, chest. So this is the metal um, rarity, supposedly. Uh, 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 reward. So this should give me a temporary reward for the next level, or maybe... Yeah, I think that's what it is. Delayed invulnerability. Dope! Alright, so at the start of the level, I'm gonna get invulnerability. Is that any good? Maybe, if I hurry up. Around. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I could just literally... Use the vulnerability to not waste my ammunition and just chainsaw some dudes because why not? Not chainsaw, excuse me, don't chainsaw some dudes. Oh, get out of the way! Those are my replacements to Lost Souls, by the way, those little flying dudes. Not the Scrags, not these dudes, the other ones. Right, that's enough for my vulnerability, so let's keep going. Man, I really, really like this, this map set. I really do. It's simple, it's, it's... Look at that, just one single secret. There we go, this is my replacement. Lost Souls. Um, it's just very, very straightforward maps. I like I like it because of that. It's simple, small maps. I used to play this actually a lot when I played D4T and QCD back... Oh, Jesus Christ. Back in the day when when it was for... What was that called? D-Touch? The, the engine? To play Doom in mobile. I haven't done that in an extremely long amount of time. But yes. Oh look at that! You can do that jump with a with a good strafe jump. Okay, not on this direction. But like this. Whoop! Look at that. Oh yeah, baby. Sorry, for someone that likes quick movement, this feels so good. If you don't like quick movement, don't worry, you can actually configure the move. I never saved! Are you kidding me? Oh man, I never saved! Are you? Oh man, alright. See, and that is what I. I would save spam back in the day. Um, yeah, if you don't like quake movement, you can actually con con configure it in, in the engine anyway, so that you get just the uh, move. That is not a problem. But. Yes, quake movement. And yeah, the reason why this guy looks like Hexen is because um, it also, uh, it's loading the, what's it called, the um, the map set, the QCD map set, which has, you know, the map that I worked on a very long time ago, the community worked on a very long time ago, and not so long time ago, but I wasn't involved back then. You know what I'm saying. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'm talking to you as if you didn't know anything about this thing. Maybe you 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 are incredibly knowledgeable and you probably even know more than I do. But for the few people that don't know anything about this, that are watching this video, I don't know why you would, but still. Um, yeah, just trying to give you a little bit of context as to what the hell I'm talking about. Doing. Hello, Mr. Fiend. This, this price from Quake 1, I actually did recolor at some point. Not recolor, just... I guess it is recolor. It's not like I took time to do i just increased the the brightness and the gamma for them so that they would stand out a little bit more i think like the quake 2 monsters kind of need that a little bit um but man they're so difficult to see even the quake monsters are not that hard to see okay okay i don't remember this section it gets a little bit dicey uh, i think i can do with this too without using my ability Wait, isn't there supposed to be two? Where's he? 
Please tell me I saved at some point. Are you? All right, I'm just gonna. Okay, so I was gonna redo this section and not show it to you. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna do this whole 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 bit and then resume. But look at that! I just killed a monster and I got a BFG upgrade from that. Because remember, they they drop at random. Not that I have a BFG, but trust me, this is gonna be definitely helpful in in the future. So yay! Um, yeah. So I don't know. I got used, at least from my other channel, to whenever I get into these things where I'm like, I gotta do something tedious, because in this case, like something that I already did a bunch of times, um, I'm used to just skipping it for the sake of the viewer, you know? Like, oh, okay, you don't need to watch this again. Let me just do it real quick and just resume once it's done. But I don't know if you guys like that or you want to see also the moments where, where I still have to redo the same thing like three times because Dumb DBT didn't save like this. Jesus Christ, DBT. You were the master at scum saving. Is that what it was called? Yeah, right? Scum saving? Um, you were the master at this, and now you disappoint me. Right. Yeah, I gotta use the tribal more. I, I keep forgetting about it. It's such a beautiful weapon. It's ridiculously useful in single player. I mean, it has a, a use uh, in multiplayer, but in single player, this thing is just so good. Nice. Because unlike something like Quake 1, it has different ammunition than the rocket launcher, right? Grenade and grenade, grenade and rocket launcher are different. Ammo over here. Oh, well, not grenade. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so the reason why I was saving my ability, it's actually not for this fight. It should be a big boy. I guess. Yes. I think this is the replacement of... Yes. This is the replacement of... Um, uh, 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 um, another ar arch vial. There is that. But yeah, I'm saving this precisely for this moment. There's a bunch of monsters, so let me just put this over here. And as they approach me, they're going to take a lot of damage from that. Well, yeah, I haven't been using the taunt. That is why I wanted to bring the postal dude. I mean, I like the ability, but just listen to his voice line. Today's the first day of the end of your lives. Oh, you know it. All right, and just like that with my ability, I pretty much wiped out that entire room. So, dope. Um, what am I missing? Uh, one monster. Oh, yeah, the very, very exit, there's a monster, right? Right here. Hello, Mr. Fiend. How you doing? Oh, there we go. There's a reliquary. What am I going to get? The, like I said, the reliquaries are the ones to give you permanent rewards. So it could be like an in increment to my ammo capacity, I think. I don't even remember. Oh, well. Uh, no overstack degeneration. Okay, so, well, but this character is different. But <coughs> generally speaking... Once you pick like a mega health or something, your health is gonna go counting down eventually. Um, with this, it does no, it no longer happens. Now you get to keep whatever extra health or armor you get. Um, I don't remember this map, but oh, ooh, doom! Uh, I mean, D four T monsters. Nice. Oh, hey. Let's, let's do that over. You know what? While I take care of the other dude, you might as well die over there. How about that? Ha ha ha, you dead. Alright, perfect. Oh, Jesus! I'm fine. I got everything under control. I only have... I have a grand total of 29 health. That should be more than enough for the entirety of the level, right? I'm not gonna lie, and, and this is not that it's a good thing, but I kind of have gotten very used to whenever I'm low on health, oh, let me just chase off someone and I'm gonna get health and ammo and all of that stuff. Yeah, that's what happens when you... Why is this shiny? Oh, it's... okay. No. But maybe he had dropped an update or something. This is what happens to you when you have been working on Karen 2 for the past several years, even though I haven't worked on it for I don't know how many months, but you know, I've ah! already talked about it. Um... Now, there's going to be a lot of imps showing up over here, yeah. I think it should be fine. I was thinking of using the cowhead to kill them as they spawn, but I think travel is more than enough to deal with them. It's, it's, a, it's a bunch of weak, so not a big problem. There you go, see? No problemo. Now, there's some arachnids over here, so again, we get rid of them. And if I had a railgun, I could just be sniping on these dudes, but oh well.
I don't even remember. Did the rail then have extra damage once it was zoomed in? I know that the animation was kept because the animation of the little circle filling up as you did that um, was a great indication of how long before you could shoot the gun again. But I don't know <coughs> if the extra damage was kept. Alright, fine, I'll snipe with a different weapon. Whenever you want to die. How did the Arachnotrons not die with, with it? Maybe one or two survived. It sounds more like one, I think. Holy mother of Christ, how tanky are you? Jesus! Don't despair, I know what I'm doing. Okay, then someone spawns over here. Well, not spawns, but there's someone over there. Is that the other... What is happening? Now Now I have both upgrades for the BFG. My BFG is going to be so powerful. Blah, blah. Whoa, okay. Well, the, the, the upgrades for the strongest weapon acquired in the first few levels. Huh, cool. I mean, I'm not complaining. That's the whole point of RNG in this type of, of, of mods, but... You know, I would like an upgrade for the basic weapons too, just saying. No need to focus only on the BFG. Yeah, you tell him, Postal. Oh no, excuse me, dude. His name is Dude. Oh, you know what? Nah, I'm not dealing with you. Have some... Cow head. I'm telling you, that sounds so bad. Some cow gas. Cow head gas. There you go. Oh, Jesus, I thought you were dead. And um, that's enough, right? No secrets, so just one monster to kill. Let's go. Yeah, I remember that. See, I'm telling you, I may not have played this in a very long time, but I do remember. Half ammo refilled. Okay, that isn't straight up amazing. But, you know, I live with it. Okay, you see what I'm saying about finishing these levels quickly because they're short and I remember them and I get my rewards for the completion because there's not a ton of secrets or anything. I like this. I do. Oh, oh, that is that is one of those spawner doggies. Another replacement for an arch file. Um, and that one it is dangerous because it summons uh, monsters. So you gotta be a little bit careful. Oh my god, I just remembered, doesn't, isn't this the mod in which we have the, 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 the upgrade for the shot, excuse me, for the rocket launcher where you get to control the rocket? Man, I haven't seen that in so long, I miss it. Oh man, the memory, I'm telling you. It's all coming back to me. Listen, listen, I, I acknowledge that I have focused a lot on my Bloomy channel, I already explained why. But it is such a such a pleasure to come back to this this grounds that I knew. And I'm not specifically just talking about the map set, but also the mod and all this stuff. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, we're fine. 29 health. Should be enough for surviving. There's something over here. Yep. Yeah, you wanna drop a railgun maybe? Oh no, I think it's in the Quick Fort Lightning Fast Mod Doom Edition where they drop uh, railguns. Here, because that would mean they're basically dropping very strong weapon. I mean, I don't know if they do. I don't remember anymore. Okay, done. Thank God, I am an old man. My memory—it's not what it used to be. And it already was shit before, so now it's like super shit or something. Oh, uh, look at the tribal! I'm telling you, this thing is so good in single player. I don't know what it is about this gun that. Well, to be fair, once once the pros of Quake multiplayer learn to use the, the the tribal, they really could do some serious damage with that thing. But for a long time, the tribal was the weapon that was like, what is this for? When I say for a long time, I mean when Quake Champions released, which was when this mod was made, so, you know. Um, how about... no. <laughs> like, walk towards the head, walk towards the head. Another, yep. Man, Corus really like adding um, uh, arch files, didn't it? There we go. 
Huh? Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, let me pick that up. And is there any any health anywhere? Cause I feel like I'm in a bit of a pickle. Oh yeah, there it is. See what I'm saying about the the strafe jumping? Suddenly you can build so much speed if you know how to do it. That's not me saying that I know how to do it very well, but you know. All right, so I'm gonna wait for my cow head to come back. Cause I do remember this next section is a little bit different. I know that there's a couple of 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 of. Um, Mankey by replacement at the very back. Okay, okay. Ah. Hey buddy, could you like, die or something? Oh, come on. Alright, so they're in a pedestal. So maybe I should drop the cow head closer to them. So that they get affected by it. First try, let's go! Let's go kill these dudes. Holy moly! Alright, so it's a bit of a problem because there's a. Oh, you know what? I think I can kill them from here. Okay, I killed them. Myself too, but. I can do this. Is he dead? Ah, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I keep on doing the same stuff. No, help me. Um, <clears throat> I seem to be in a bit of a problem right now. Did I pick up the health or not? I thought I... Oh, I see, I didn't save after picking it. Ah, see, this is why I'm losing, that's all. It was because of that. I could literally just drop the head over here, but I'm, I would just kill the two little dudes. There we go. How are you not... There we go. I guess he was taking the smallest amount of damage possible. There, there we go. Okay. The two dudes have been taken care of. Now, if I could... Do this. Hide behind the pillars a little bit. Oh, Jesus. There's two of these dudes. God damn it. All right. Oh, you're dead, buddy. How you like that? <clears throat> I mean, GG. Uh huh. Let me let me get all the ammunition while I'm here, and I'm ready to go. Now it would still be useful if I could get some additional health, but hey, who am I to demand things like health? This one. Wait a second. Oh, I did it. I didn't save after I kill all of them. Ah, Jesus Christ. I do need my, my cow head to come back, so. Hello? Health anywhere? No? Okay, no health anywhere. Fine. I was also just making some time. I could literally rocket jump for it, but I would kill myself in the butt. So I don't think that's the way to go. What's that awful stench? Enjoy! Now, unfortunately, that's still not gonna hit the Archvile replacement, but I don't even know. Drop. I'm gonna call him Drop Doggy. Because I have no idea what those things are called. Look at this. Oh, oh, he's starting to summon. He went to health. I'm fine. Oh, hello. I'm gonna save right there because I wanna keep that. That's an upgrade for the lightning gun. Yes, the static field sustain an arc while zoomed to hurt enemies in the area. Basically, just adds AoE to the tip of the. Of the LG beam. But hey, that's a good thing. Oh, if I had the bouncy shots. One of the upgrades for. Oh, it's just a weak dude. Okay. One of the upgrades for the tri bolt is the bouncy shots. Those are fantastic. Oh, that was a big one. I was like, I remember there was a somewhat big dude somewhere. Ooh, is that an upgrade? Let's go, Baba! I'm getting upgrades! Homing nails! Oh, yeah, Baba! So, so long as I'm zoomed in, the things are gonna home for enemies. Dope. Alright, I got a really query. What did I get from it? Extra max armor. So now my armor capacity has been increased permanently. Lovely, lovely stuff. Alright! And... Look at that! 
Wait a second, did I just finish five maps? Just like that? Yes, I did. And there's an airplane. What? What is that? Huh. Yeah. I'm glad to see the Easter egg is still there. All right. Well, there you have it. That's going to do it for the first video of me playing Course of Speedy Shit. Because, man, I miss playing stuff like this. It's fun. It's quick. It's high, high tempo. And I really missed shooting the Doom 2 monsters. Well, technically I didn't. You know what I'm saying. The Doom 2 stuff. Whatever. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, all of that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.